go to the mother city where thousands of cyclists have descended in Cape Town as the 42nd edition of the Cape Town Cycle Tour is currently underway. Over 30,000 of them will be making their way around the peninsula. Now this year's instalment will see an electronic bike making its debut. My colleague and ENCA reporter Justin Ford now joins us live again from the mother city. Now Justin, as I mentioned earlier, we, we discussed this electronic bike um, yesterday and that ride starts at 9.30. Usually our reporters are present at a sporting event. They don't usually partake in it, but you partaking at 9.30. Tell us a bit about the preparation you've done leading to this morning. You use the word preparation, Nicole, and I'm not sure what you're talking about. So by Wednesday, I had confirmation of the fact that I had secured an e-bike for the race. Um, as you mentioned, it's the first time that the cycle tour has allowed it to the Arden cyclists. As I mentioned earlier, you know, they're not a big fan based on the fact that you do have the necessary assistance along with, um, you know, the pedaling that, that goes with cycling. Um, but so no preparation. I haven't been on a bike for roughly a year and a half. But I'm excited, nervous at the same time. But, you know, just looking forward to being able to get out there. Um, and at certain points during the race, during today, I'd be able to, to do some crossings as well via Skype just to talk about their journey and, and, and hopefully speak to a few people around me to, to hear, you know, sort of what it is that they enjoy most about the race. And as you mentioned, 42nd time that the race is happening. And, you know, people come in year in, year out to really just enjoy this race um, and, and, and take in the sights and the sounds of, of the peninsula. Justin, just on that point with you saying this is it's the 42nd year, what exactly is it that makes people um, go back, you know, amongst all of the negativity that happens around us in this country? As you say, they go back and back every single year. What exactly do you think makes them go back? What attracts them to this event? I think what, you know, Cape Townians and, and South Africans mainly, and then obviously there's a strong international contingent that also uh, comes through for this event. I think what makes it most important is the fact that, you know, the roads are free. Um, you know, it's summertime in Cape Town, so the weather's good. Um, you know, being able to, to explore these roads of, of the mother city um, really is a fantastic experience. And I think that mostly you know, is the reason for everybody to come back. The cycle tour tries to change things, try to make things more exciting every year and I think they are, are winning with, by means of that to ensure that by the time this race is done today they will start you know, planning for, for next year's race as well and you know, as soon as entries become available people really snap them up quite easily. No definitely Justin. Now um, earlier you mentioned that some of our elite racers were making their way through uh, Fishhook. Where are they currently and when can we expect them uh, to come in to finish up? So they left just after, I would say, around quarter past six. Um, and generally their time to finish would be sort of just over two hours, two hours, ten minutes. So we expect them to be, you know, sort of heading towards uh, Chapman Speak by now already, um, you know, passing Fishhook uh, through Simonstown, up past Misty Cliffs, um, and then making their way up Chapman Speak. And that in itself is quite a scenic view. But these boys, that you know, they come out and prepare really well. And, and not only the boys, you know, the females as well. Uh, that's an exciting race. And, and unfortunately, this time around, I won't be able to catch them at the end. But, you know, we'll, we'll be sure to hear from them and, and just talk about how they enjoy the race. Really, as I mentioned as well, the conditions really are perfect for them to, to, to go out there and, and enjoy this race and potentially look at some, some serious times. The conditions are definitely great. Just standing in the studio, the view is absolutely spectacular. Thank you for making time uh, to spend with us this morning, Justin. We'll catch up a bit with you later, and I'm definitely going to check in on you after that 9.30 race, seeing as though you are very unfit. That was my colleague and our reporter from Cape Town. Now, let's take a look at that rugby that we mentioned. South Africa has made it through to the quarterfinals at the Vancouver Sevens. They began their campaign with 12 over Japan thanks to tries from Miller Duplessis and Sayokisa Makata. Argentina was up next as, blitz, as the Blitzbooks were looking to continue their winning start. They won that contest 17-5.
Now, England were expected to provide a stern test for Neil Powell's men, but momentum was with South Africa as they steamrolled their way to a commanding 38-0 victory, completely annihilating their opponents. They faced the USA in the last eight. Oh, this South African team, when they're playing like this, it's like... That's uh, your sport for now.